Proverbs 13, 24. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him betimes. This rod, which is a slender stick for stripes on the bank, is not an option in God's word, but a very important tool for disciplining. This is really not open to debate. God has spoken and that settles it. 3,000 years of recorded history endorses it, and today's dysfunctional youth confirm that they need it. The world would be a better place if parents obeyed this proverb. But most have been brainwashed by educators, politicians, and the news media against corporal punishment. Though a serious problem is seen everywhere, a generation of haughty, lazy, rebellious, selfish, and narcissistic youth, the world hates and Solomon's wisdom and embodiment. They hate God and Solomon. Most of the Proverbs are contrasts, and this is no different as it contrasts those that love their child with those that hate them. The lesson is clear throughout Proverbs. Corporal punishment works. Proverbs 3.12 says, For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father the son in whom he delighteth. 10.13, In the lips of him that hath understanding, wisdom is found. But a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. 19.18, Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. 20.30 says, The blueness of a wound cleanseth away evil, so do stripes the inward parts of the belly. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. Proverbs 22.15 In the following chapter, verse 13 and 14 says, Withhold not correction from the child, for if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. Thou shalt beat him with the rod, and thou shalt deliver his soul from hell. 29.15, The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. Two verses later says, Correct thy son, and he shall give thee rest. Yea, he shall give delight unto thy soul. My question is, do you love your own son? Only hateful fathers, if I understand scripture right, do not spank their sons. They love themselves too much to spend the effort, the emotion, the time, and yea, even the short-term grief to confront and spank a child for his profit. The father that truly loves his son, wants him to be great, will faithfully spank him at a young age when there is hope. That's what the word be times mean when they're young. If you do not use the rod, you hate your son. If you truly delight in him, you will correct and spank him. What kind of a father would not stop their child from running out in the middle of a freeway? And yet that is exactly what is taking place uh, day after day as children are entering into the traffic of life and just becoming wrecks. True love is known by its goal and the choice of means to attain it. Godly parents want their children to grow in favor with God and man, the highest goal possible for human existence. And they use the God-inspired and time-proven means to achieve that goal, the rod and reproof. Verse 